Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to give you a very thorough overview of the article here. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. It is a grim topic. It's in regards to the murder of the seven-year-old girl that you see in front of you. Her name, Jordan Barrera. She was killed. She died January the 30th, 2020. This happened in Bay City approximately 80 miles southwest of Houston. Jordan Barrera, seven years of age, had been diagnosed with Down syndrome as well as cerebral palsy. With that, she was non-communicative. In addition, she required a feeding tube as well as 24-7 care. Significant medical requirements, significant, me significant medical conditions. She died January the 30th, 2020. Why is that? Well, because the mother, the so-called lady that you see in front of you, her name, Lauren K. Dean, decided that it would be wise to go out clubbing, to go out partying with her friends. And that's exactly what she did. She went out to a bar with her friends for the evening, leaving her three children at home. So that seven-year-old Jordan Barrera, as well as a three-month-old and a five-year-old, left in the family apartment, Bay City, southwest of uh, Houston. So the mother, Lauren K. Dean, went out partying. She's having a good old time down the bar with her mates. Her three children abandoned at home, one of them incapable of looking after themselves one of them requiring 24 7 care that's jo jordan barrera that we see in front of us a concerned neighbor called the authorities and requested a welfare check the police arrived by the time that the police arrived at the family apartment the mother was already home and very casually she invited the officers in Oh, not a problem, officers. You're more than welcome to come in. Everything's fine. There's no problems here. You're more than welcome to come in. They came in. The officers went in to the family apartment. At which point, tragically, they discover seven-year-old Jordan Barrera deceased. We're not given any information in regards to the three-month-old and the five-year-old. I presume that... They were okay, that there was no physical harm to them. That's my presumption. We're not told as to whether or not the children are in the care of family members or in the care of the state. Either way, we hope that they get uh, all of the love and attention and care that they're going to need. Because so far, they've been looked after by a mother who's willing to abandon them the mother was arrested her initial charges were her initial charges were three second degree felonies endangering a child abandonment and imminent danger of bodily injury those charges were upgraded to capital murder of a person under the age of 10 she pled guilty Lauren pled guilty, the mother pled guilty to abandoning her child, her children, which led to the death of Jordan Barrera. She pled guilty, why? Well, because that's what happened. And also in order to avoid the death penalty. So she avoided the death penalty by pleading guilty, which I don't have an issue with personally. Some people will. I do prefer the death penalty um but um pleading guilty to ensure that she gets life in prison i have no argument with that really myself personally in addition to life in prison which is what she's been sentenced she's also been given 20 years for two additional accounts of abandonment endangering a child because of course she not only abandoned jordan but she abandoned a three-month-old and a five-year-old her three children one of which was in need of 24-7 care and attention. 
a sufferer of Down syndrome, a sufferer of cerebral palsy, non-communicative, requiring a feeding tube. And the mother abandoned her to go and have a few drinks with some friends. That's all we have. That's all the information. I think that a blessing here is that the mother pled guilty. I view that as a blessing. Perhaps you don't. But I do. I think that um, you know, well, that guarantees that she was sentenced again to life in prison. As well as 20 years on top of that. So she's in jail for the rest of her life. I'm happy with that. I would prefer the death penalty. I believe in real justice. I believe that that would be real justice. But I can't say personally that I'm unhappy that she's received life in prison. She deserves that. She's gotten what she deserves. She took the life or you know, her actions led to the death of her own child. Why? Well, because again, she wanted to go out for drinks. Now, I'm not a parent. I like to go out for drinks or rather I did. Nowadays, if I drink, I drink at home kind of by the by but it's understandable for an adult to want to go out and uh, party to want to go out and spend time with friends but hello lauren have you not heard of the concept of babysitters have you not heard of that concept she absolutely should have arranged for a babysitter she absolutely should not have succumb to her temptations of having a social time doing whatever it happens to be but in the midst of doing that abandoning her three children she should not have done that and she and the uh, her actions cost the life of seven-year-old jordan barrera and has led to her own imprisonment for the rest of her life absolutely crazy absolutely crazy i mean what was going on through her mind why didn't she realize the risks involved or if she did realize the risks involved why did she take those risks recklessness evil is it evil or is it recklessness either way she is responsible she's pled guilty and she's going to face her punishment so I'm going to wrap things up here at this point, guys. Again, if you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit, and take care.